So as we go through our spiritual awakening, we know that we are going through all these various changes that manifest in different ways in our life. But what about the space that we inhabit? What about our bedroom? What about the position of the way that we place things in our home? Our home and the space that we occupy is the consciousness that we experience life with is experienced in our environment. So whatever it is that you're inside is whatever you are on the outside in your immediate environment and it is transposed onto the space of your house. So your, for example, the northeast position in your house is all to do with your Sahasrara, your crown chakra. So a little telltale sign where you are, if you're feeling anxious, if you're not feeling all there, you're feeling like your memory is being affected, have a look at your northeast position. What have you got in your northeast position? Is this clear? Is it empty? So you must have heard of feng shui and vastu. Now, traditionally, all of this is based on the fact that your space is your consciousness. So we have a consciousness that is microcosmic and a consciousness that is at the macrocosm. Now, at the macrocosm, we know that it is all that is. At the microcosm is our individual sense of self. Now in Vastu, in Feng Shui, and what we do is what is called space healing, your space represents the microcosmic self of you the microcosm which is the individuate sense of self and how it's expressing itself and then how it's expressing itself in the space in which you inhabit so you'll find as you're wading through your spiritual awakening as you're even going through a kundalini awakening you will be shifting things in your house you might even relocate but during a spiritual awakening the one thing that you might keep on doing is changing the position of things in your home. Now, where you put these things and what you put in certain places will serve as an indication as to where even your kundalini is. It'll serve as an indication to where your consciousness is. So one of the things that you can do is you look around in your space. How grounded do you feel? What are your relationships like? So your space is going to be telling of where you are in your individual sense of self, in how you express yourself in your space. Lots of love. Thank you for staying tuned in.